Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the similarities as well as the key differences between Norton 360's premium plan and deluxe plan. But before we get into this video, if you'd like to know more about Norton, you'll find an in-depth review in the description, as well as a discount so that you can save a little bit more money if you choose either of these plans. Now, let's start with what these two have in common. First, you have antivirus, malware, ransomware, and hacking protection, which are the core parts of this software. When it comes to malware detection, Norton has always been at the top of the antivirus lists on popular testing websites such as avtest.com. And that's because it has perfect malware detection rates and has kept this as its standard for a while now. Next, you have a VPN. While this VPN is not exactly on the same level as some of the standalone options like ExpressVPN, it still manages to offer some features that you'd only find in premium options, such as a kill switch and split tunneling. It has a decent number of servers and does its job well, though I would not exactly recommend it for accessing streaming platforms to stream international content. Another feature these two plans have in common is the Parental Control Kit. With this kit, you'll get tools such as Safe Search and Web Filtering option, which allows you to block whole categories of websites. It also has a live tracking feature, which allows you to set geofences of allowed and restricted areas where you'll be notified whenever your kid enters or leaves them. You'll also be getting live updates on your child's whereabouts around the clock. Lastly, you have the screen time control and app filtering options, which allows you to set screen time limits for your children and block certain apps that you think they're spending too much time on. Moving on, another common feature between the two plans would be the dark web monitoring feature that looks for your personal information on the internet. Be it on people's search sites or the dark web and alerts you when it finds anything. Now let's talk about the differences between the two. At first glance, these two plans might look identical, yet the premium one is around $5 more expensive. So what's the reason? Well, for starters, the premium plan would allow you to secure up to 10 devices with one subscription, which is almost double that of the deluxe plan, which is five devices. And on top of that, the premium plan would give you up to 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, while the deluxe version would give you up to 50 gigabytes of cloud storage. And this cloud storage is extremely important since you can upload all your important files to it, be they cherished memories or backups of your work documents. And so bigger storage would mean you have a bigger safe to store your valuable assets in. So overall, having these two upgrades certainly justifies the price difference between the two plans, since you're getting a lot of value for only five extra dollars. However, if you don't have that many devices and don't plan on uploading your data to the cloud, the deluxe plan is actually more than enough, as it gives you everything Norton 360 has to offer. And that's it for today's video. If you guys are interested in Norton 360, I'll leave all the useful links, including an in-depth review and a discount in the description down below. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.